Hi, I'm Nabeen Hindawi. I'm Assistant Professor of, of Clinical Pharmacology, Faculty of Medicine at Shams University, Female Fellowship uh, Batch 2022. I would like to represent uh, the virtual project presentation uh, for my project entitled as the Flip uh, Teaching Method in an elective course by interpreting the body composition using the in-body. Under the supervision of Professor Dr. Sahar Omar, Professor of Histology, Faculty of Medicine at Shams University. The Flip Method of teaching has received uh, much attention in the medical education. For its uh, specific characteristic, like it's uh, student-centered, there is interaction between the student uh, through the flipped material facilitated by the professor. It provides competency-based education and promotes active learning. Additionally, the flipped classroom for the undergraduate was designed to be applied in elective course that may show great interest to the youth nowadays for understanding and interpreting the results of the body composition by using the in-body, Regarding the elective course, as for no obligation for the students, no stress for the mark collection, and it attracts the students, and it attracts the students with passion for uh, flip teaching as well as nutrition. Regarding my Degan chart, first of all, I got the IRB, uh, the IRB approval in February. Then I prepared the objectives and ILOs of the course in the February and the March, prepared the timeline and the materials and methods of evaluation of the course. Uh, this was done in February, March, uh, and April and May. Revised my steps with my advisor, and was, uh, this was done in May. Then I arranged a meeting with the head of the scientific board of the Clinical Nutrition Faculty of Medicine and Shams University to get the approval for this course. Uh, this was done uh, also in uh, June. And then I arranged a meeting with the coordinator of the elective uh, course, and this was done in July. Then I settled the date for starting the course and the required numbers of the participants. This was done in August. Then I prepared the pre-test uh, the pre -test and the flip teaching sessions to go deeper to the materials to start to be started in September and October. Also, I evaluate the students by the post-test and the satisfaction questionnaire. And this was done in October. Statistical analysis of the results of the project, and this was done in November and December, and finally the poster preparation. Regarding the changes uh, made in uh, the Gantt chart, there is delay in two points or three points, which is settling the date of the start of the course and the required number of the participants. Regarding that, the university will start in the 1st of October, so I have to start uh, the elective course in the October and to be delayed from September, as well as uh, uh, consequently, the pretest as well as the evaluation of the students will also be delayed. The lessons learned time management, including more activities and more materials to cover the credit hours for the elective course because it, uh, it, it was present to be uh, uh, 14 credit hours. Arrange simple materials that suits the year one medical school students because this uh, uh, students will be available for the elective course in the October. The use of the synchronous and the asynchronous learning methods, I'm having plan B or C for any change and well preparation for all the details. Thank you so much.